If you follow gaming websites or check your recommended or sub feed on YouTube, then you might have encountered some new Assassin's Creed Ragnarok rumors. Oh no, shop listings, massive 4chan leak. Well, let's look if these leaks are real in this video. And I actually want to share some interesting things I learned from my final interview with Bruno, the live content director on Odyssey as well, that might have an impact on this next game. It's pretty interesting, so let's get into it. A like on the video would be super appreciated and let's go. But first, let's touch on the sponsor of this video that helps the channel out a lot. It's Raid Shadow Legends, my most played mobile game of 2019 that you can check out via the link in the video description. What I really like about Raid is trying to perfect my score in the many campaign levels by selecting the best party combination. And this is also needed for the many dungeon bosses that you can defeat that will give you some great equipment. And with this gear you can improve your characters even more and think of special builds that fit their strengths. And right now you can play Raid on your desktop as well with the same account so enjoy the game on a bigger screen with better graphics. And there's also an Amazon Prime promotion going on if you sign up before January 12th then you get 2 million silver and 700 energy. And there will be way more drops that give you free champions, XP boost and way way more. So what are you waiting for? Click on the special link in the video description and if you are a new player then you will get 100,000 silver, 2 clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards to get new champions and one free champion, the Adjudicator, a really great character to help you out in the early parts of a raid. All the treasures will be waiting for you here, you gotta hurry up because they are relevant for 30 days. So again, check the links in the video description to check out Raid. It helps the channel out a lot too. Thanks again to Raid for sponsoring the video and now let's get back into it. It's been crazy how many so-called leaks this new Assassin's Creed has had. Maybe the most for any Assassin's Creed at least since I've been doing this YouTube channel. And that could totally be the reason why Ubisoft wants to announce it earlier this time. At least some people believe that. And February has always been rumored from multiple Multiple sources and of course the fact that there was this secret Ubisoft Montreal meeting with a ton of Assassin's Creed community members back in mid-November also points in that direction. So that's almost two months ago at this point and sometimes these events are very close to the reveal like that was the case with Odyssey where there was a similar secret event at the end of April when the game was announced in June. So I think it's safe to assume that a reveal for this Viking game is happening in the coming months. And if Ubisoft just announced the game, then they could control the message and stop the amount of fake info that is out there. Like the Ragnarok Mjolnir edition that appeared on GameStop Italy, according to someone on Reddit. So I did some digging and quickly found out that the same pre-sale number as Watch Dogs Legion was used and the leaker also did not have a link to this store page for me. So that was already weird. Either way, I put like in the top comment under this Reddit thread that it was very likely fake and this was one hour after the Reddit post was posted and still many websites reported on this news and they linked to the Reddit post where again, my top comment was saying this is clearly fake. The Amazon Germany Valhalla edition leak is even funnier. French YouTuber Jonathan, I will put a link to his channel in the video description. He just put up this tweet with the picture and the two eyes emoji. And really, that is all, and many websites ran with it. You would think Metro, oh, they should be credible. Well, they made an article saying Ragnarok leaked on multiple shop websites. Again, GameStop Italy was already fake, I proved it in the top comment under the source and this Amazon Germany like did not even have a source. They just grabbed the picture from Jonathan, put it on their website and said hey it was leaked on Amazon. And then many other websites followed because yeah if Metro reports on it then it must be real. And I don't want this to be a bashing websites video, I'm just surprised by how easily these websites are either tricked or just copy each other or know that it's likely fake but still report on it because it will do some nice traffic. So yes, just wanted to let you know that you should not believe everything that is out there including this new mega rumor that Inside Gaming and also a lot of other websites are reporting on. It's info from my last video like really meshed together with some fantasy thoughts like a berserker mode which also activates special runes like fire, frost and lightning damage or that there would be player classes. Like, 
That only contradicts the rumors that we've been discussing here in my previous video. And I also don't want to say that everything that I share here in my videos is 100% true. But I at least try to do research and see if it's at least possible. And then report on it when I truly believe that this could be real. And trust me, otherwise I could be making multiple rumor videos like this per week. Because there are really that many leaks out there. And of course, also good to remember is the things that we discussed could change because the game is still far out. Like maybe Jora that we discussed in a previous video is not the name of the male and female character that we can select, but maybe it will be something else. That's totally possible, but overall I really try to do the research to see if there are multiple sources saying the same thing and people that I think could be in the know and then I share the info with you. Again, let's just hope that Ubisoft announces a Creed Ragnarok soon so we can look at the trailer know what's real and what is not real I really can't wait and I do actually have an interesting piece of info and I also want your input on it and this might sound weird but really my favorite Ubisoft game trailers are the post launch content trailers I know they release when we haven't played the full game yet but it gives us a glimpse at future content and how we will be spending our time after we finish the game and of course as a youtuber it's nice to know what you will be covering in the coming months for Odyssey, they made a big change in terms of how they wanted to roll out the season pass content. Instead of two big expansions, we got two story arcs with three episodes each. So where in Origins we had the first big DLC, the Hidden Ones, in January, Odyssey's DLC actually started in December with a smaller piece of content. And then every six weeks we got a new episode. Well, I asked Bruno, the live content director, about this approach just before episode 3 of the Atlantis DLC released. And he had quite a surprising answer, saying that he was not sure if it worked out. Some people really liked the approach, but also people did not like it and waited till the end of the episodes so they could play them all in one sitting. So he's not sure if they will continue with that. And I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this post-launch content rollout as well. Like, did you like this episodic approach? The reason they did it is because they want to have regular content updates and that we did not have to wait multiple months to play one big expansion that you would then play maybe a week and then it was finished. And I would not be surprised if we saw like a combination with still more regular releases but more compact expansions instead of two big ones. So that you don't have one story over multiple episodes but that one piece of DLC like releases that has one story and it also ends with that DLC. So that you have multiple smaller stories throughout the year instead of two very big ones. That is at least what I took away from this but I'm curious to hear what you think and would like to see. And it's always interesting in terms of DLC like how many people actually buy it and that's also why we see publishers push the season pass and gold editions before release extremely hard because it seems like people are less likely to buy DLC after the game has been out for a few months. At least that was the case for Origins, because Daniel Ahmed, who was at a Ubisoft event in September 2019, took a picture where we actually see the number of players for the DLCs. The Curse of the Pharaohs, so the second expansion had 1.5 million players, and the Hidden Ones only had 1.2 million players, while the game likely sold 8 million units, something like that, that would be my bet, maybe it's even more thanks to a ton of sales that of course happened. So it seems like not a lot of people are playing the DLC and maybe that's also why they changed the approach with Odyssey and will maybe be changing the approach again with Ragnarok and that's why I can't wait to see the post launch content trailer. Maybe we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, let's first just wait for the actual announcements. And when we know more about that, I'll be the first to tell you here on the channel. So totally subscribe if you haven't already, like this video to support the channel. And totally check out my Twitch page, because I want to stream there every Monday some older games that I've covered here on the channel to do some unfinished business. And I think I will do Origins again this Monday. There's a link to my Twitch channel in the video description, it's just your raptor, it's easy as that. Follow me to be notified when I stream, and then maybe I will see you there tomorrow already if you watch this on Sunday. You can check out my previous video if you want by clicking on the screen and uh, goodbye.